today is Herb Stevenson. He's a part of many clips, uh, short videos, talking about aspects of presence, uh, more particularly what we call healing presence. And this one is about just a series of slides to talk about the awakening process, what's happening simultaneously within us. So as you see on the primary slide, the walking dead and sleep walking are metaphors for unconscious living. I put those in there because as we waken ourselves in our process, what ends up happening is, is we begin to realize we've been walking around more or less unconscious and absent to ourselves, which is why walking dead and sleepwalking are good metaphors. On this first slide, we see the moving towards each other triangles and the waking process is both a simultaneous reduction of absence and an increase of presence which leads eventually to an expanded level of awareness. So what does that mean? So it means in absence we're lost in the self-created adjustments to belong, to find one's internal sense of order and safety, and to create a sense of fair exchange with existence, uh, our existence, which are absent to ourself except through meaning-making concepts, and I'll elaborate on that shortly. So absence is, is we are trying to find how to survive in the world. So the internal sense of order and safety is where do I belong? And fair exchange is, is how do I get what I want at the same time give certain things back to you? And there's always the exchange where the, we think about it in assets, but it's actually emotionally and psychologically. Affection, just all aspects of any interaction and relationship. And through all that, we're trying to figure out how to belong. And one of the things that happens is we forget ourselves and that's why absence is such an important piece. So awakening is akin to experiencing someone or something so intimate that one experience is being seen or heard for the first time. I've done that several times in conversations where I was sitting with people just purely attentive, mind empty, listening to them about what's going on in their lives and they suddenly have a shift, which brings a big emotional reaction and a comment being brought up that says is, I just had this overwhelming feeling of just being seen. I mean, is it as is being seen for the first time as if I exist? And that's what I'm talking about is akin to that kind of experience. It can be an intimate moment because both people are present and bring it together. So on the right side, you see that if we look at absence, we're living in a world of of rules and thoughts without self-examination for truth or validity for oneself. That's just day-to-day -day survival of growing up as a child. And during that period, because of the choices that go back and forth, doubt about oneself or one's choices rise potentially trigger an existential crisis. We eventually run into ourselves trying to find a way to belong, to feel safe, and to have fair exchange. In other words, fair exchange of existing. This leads to moments of wholeness that flow through like falling leaves that cannot be caught, but we notice them. And eventually a new journey unfolds as an internal congruence aligns with each moment. Another way of saying that is, is when the head and heart we start to become aligned, we are both consistent and congruent with who we truly are. And that's an extremely important process and shows up in this next slide where as we become more consciously aware, we see that we need to eliminate or reduce absence and raise and create presence. So if we put that into a, a sequence, if the call or urge to awaken overcomes internal resistance, we begin to reduce absence. New capacities to perceive without preconceived notions arise. In other words, life is no longer black and white. Self-righteous and fossilized thinking melts away. We suddenly realize we have been highly judgmental or our, our uh, thinking has been frozen. It has not been receptive. And then seeing begins to become being as a form of awareness and existence. And again, simultaneously to the elimination of absence is the increase of presence, which these would overlap into an expanded level of awareness uh, as shown in the center. And in this final slide of this little mini series, of the awakening process, you can see is what I was saying is absence re moves towards the center, presence moves towards the center, and, and that creates an expanded awareness. 
So when we look at this from a, a presence point of view, is simultaneous acceptance of my habitualized being. I am accepting that I have created these rules and I've decided uh, just acknowledging that they exist is a big deal to uh, begin to eliminate absence. And that same, at the same time, we have a simultaneous pursuit of internal authority, which leads to individuation. So as absence and presence come together, we look at the sequence. Self-awareness awakens to life as a choice. Old constructs dissolve, increases awareness of choices more choices self-awareness accelerates we suddenly see things we've never seen before and we suddenly become fully awakened to a self as a being now obviously it's a very simplified process but it provides you something to look at from an overall perspective which is if you're experiencing an awakening process these are some of the is a model that can help you understand what's going on for you and begin to increase your presence as a process i'm going to talk in the next brief um, slides on the pathways to uh, awareness which uh, is a different way but it has a similar set of slides which will give you even more details i appreciate you looking at this and uh, if you are of interest you can go to healingden.com and uh, get more information Thanks much, Herb Stevenson.